Hey guys and welcome. So today's going to be a daily shaving video. I'm not going to be reviewing a specific product. But I'm going to be using a few things that I have acquired recently that I really, really love. So I just wanted to bring together some of these different brushes and razors and stuff like that and use them in today's video because I didn't really want to review something, but I did want to share with you guys today's shave. So first of all, for today's shaving soap, I'm going to be using the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Solstice. So this is a seasonal shaving soap by PAA. That is really, really nice. It has a really nice, calm scent to it, I'd say, overall. So this is uh, their solstice scent that's supposed to be around kind of like the fall harvest time. Um, here I have the puck. It was blooming. Um, the scent on this, I get like a cedar, sandalwood scent to it. It's a nice, woodsy, fresh scent. It's not like kind of a dark, woodsy scent. It's a crisper, woodsy scent to it. It's very nice, very calming. This is a night shave for me, and this is really perfect uh, before going to bed. Really nice, calming attributes of shaving soap. I do want to show you guys the soap, so I'm going to go ahead. It was blooming while I was in the shower. Just got a shower. Facial hair is nice, cleaned out, hydrated, ready to go. I have one day of facial hair growth. I'm going to take this bloom water and add it to my face. There we go, very nice. So this is actually in the Phoenix. They've had out for a little while now, but this is their new packaging here. It's a plastic tub, really nice. I like the marketing on here. It's overall has really nice, beautiful labels that Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements always has. Uh, and this is their newest formula formulation. I think it's version three. Anyway, excellent, excellent performance from this stuff. And I really do love this soap. And I'm going to be pairing it today. I'm just going to dip my fingers here in alum so I get a little bit better grip since I touched that really slick bloom water. I'm using a new brush. I've used it, I don't know, somewhere five to ten shaves, something like that. Here it is. This is actually my first custom brush. And here it is. You can take a look at it. This is a two-band finest, which I love. I think this, these are my favorite uh, badger hair types of brushes, these two-band, because they have really nice backbone, but the tips are just so soft. So here it is. This is a ceramic handle. And this was made by Pantere. This is an Italian company, and they hand tie all their own knots, and they make all these handles here. It's out of a ceramic that they hand paint. So I asked them, or they asked me what I want on here, and they put on Pantere for Nick shaves, and they put a little safety razor on there for me, which I really like. It's really cool that this is, you know, a one of a kind thing, uh, handmade by an artisan. I believe it's a 27 or 28 millimeter knot in there. Very, very nice. Very beautiful. I really like this. A little bit of slick handle on there, but you know, when I put some alum on my fingers, I, I've got great grip. It's not a problem. So this was soaking while I was in the shower. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of hot tap water to it. Have my sink. Bring it out. And when I'm bringing out my brushes, I don't want you guys to, uh, to get the impression I'm really pulling on these knots. You need to be careful with your knots, you know. Treat them nicely so the, these hairs don't break down in time. So I was putting a gentle twist on the hairs there. Gentle twist, and then I just squeeze. And that brings out the extra water. All right, so let's go ahead and load up. Oh yeah, and there's the soap. Brilliant, brilliant white on there. Love that scent. There you go, you can take a look. I have lots of soap load up here, nice and pasty between the hairs. Let me go ahead into a face lather. I'm smelling this. There's also a little bit of like a uh, evergreen tree scent to it, like uh, spruce, something like that. It all blends together very nicely though. Definitely need more water in my lather. You can see it's kind of pasty there on my face. Alright, that looks great. I'm going to go ahead and paint over the lather. 
always do it. It's a really nice way to kind of just even it out over your face and take a look um, if there's any areas that you missed. I think it just looks good and it's kind of a way to see if the lather is what I want to get. And this is perfect. Very voluminous, very creamy. Alright, for today's razor, so this is another razor that I have uh, recently acquired that I really love. It's a very nice razor. This is the Razor Rock Mission. Beautiful razor, $19.99, fantastic deal. Kind of has an Edwin Jagger style head on there, but I think it actually shaves closer to Mercor 34C. Uh, nice handle on there, good knurling. It's a three piece razor. Really like this. And in the razor today, I have a fresh Persona Lab Blue blade. All right, let's go ahead and get started. First pass with the grain. Very nice first pass. So one thing I really like about this uh, Razor Rock Mission Razor is that it has a lot of audible feedback. So you can really tell if your razor is not the right angle just because it won't make the, uh, the correct cutting noise on the hairs. So I think it makes it a little bit easier to dial in the correct angle. Alright, second pass, cross grain. I want to see if you guys can hear the uh, the feedback on this razor. I think you can hear that. I'm going to probably open up a cut over here. Oh yeah, it's opened a little bit. Last night when I was shaving, I wasn't filming. I had an ingrown hair. I was shaving with my Mercor 37C. And I just decimated that thing. I took it right off. So this thing was bleeding a good amount on there. So I had to use my Stipic pencil there. But it closed it off really nicely. But it's still a little bit swollen, a little bit proud right there. So it did open it a little bit. It's not that bad though. Alright, second pass, feeling great. Alright, back to the brush. Third lather, you can just see the volume on this brush holds a lot of lather in there. It also releases the lather nicely, so some brushes, if they're really, really dense, don't really want to let the lather go on your face, they just want to hold on to it in there, but I've noticed with this one, uh, it's something I've been paying attention to, that someone kind of told me about that. As a stallion, actually, and this one lets go of its lather really nicely. All right, third pass, cross grain this direction. Another thing that this razor has helped me appreciate is razors with a longer handle. As you guys know, I'm an avid user of short-handled safety razors. I feel like they give me better control on my face because um, I like shaving with my hand about up there. But with a longer handle, I kind of scoot down here because I like having my pinky on the bottom of the razor. Um, but what that's really nice for is uh, you know you kind of lighten your pressure on there because you have that distance on there, so you're not getting the direct pressure from having your finger right below the the, uh, the head like that. It's a little bit offset, so you kind of get a little. It's a little bit easier just to shave with the pressure of the razor.
Very happy with that. This is a very comfortable shave. All right. Feeling around here. All right, back to the brush. I'm going to pull out the lather. Lot's still in there. Look at that lather. Very creamy. Look at that. I, I hope you guys can see the sheen on this lather. It's beautiful. All right, just feeling around with my left hand. Hold the razor in my right and clean up any areas I want to get a little bit closer. That feels great. I'm going to go ahead and get cleaned up. Excellent shave. Very close. Very happy with that. No redness, no irritation. I had that one nick there or that uh, ingrown hair from uh, last night. Very excellent shave. Awesome post-shave on this uh, PAA soap. Their soaps always have great post-shave feel. Very close. It was a very enjoyable shave. And nice scent still on my face. I still have that little bit of like cedar sandalwood scent to it. I really like that. Alright, for today's aftershave, uh, I'm going to be using the Captain's Choice Sandalwood. This is an alcohol-based aftershave. Really nice, and it's got it's a bay rum and sandalwood, so there's a little bit of bay rum in there, but it's definitely mostly a sandalwood. Virtually no burning there, so it also speaks to the quality of the shave. Good shave with no irritation. All right, and for today's aftershave balm, I'm going with the Sterling Unscented. I don't want to disturb this like this really nice scent from that aftershave, so. Go ahead and put this on. I'm seeing right there, I'm bleeding. I'm gonna grab some toilet paper. All right, so I'm just gonna dry up that area. I'm gonna go with a styptic pencil. So here, this is my Clubman Panade styptic pencil, which I recommend you guys all have. It doesn't have to be this one, just any styptic pencil for these times when you cut yourself. When it's more, this is a larger nick, I'd say. So I'm going to go ahead and take it, dip it in the water here in my sink. Just spread it like crazy on there. Great, that's it. Yep, no more bleeding. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead with this piece of toilet paper and dry this off. You don't want to keep these wet when you store them because this will degrade um, if they're left wet. Go ahead and put it back in its tube. This tube also has ventilation. It comes with a hole in the end. All right, back in there, and the post-shave balm. There we go. So thank you guys for joining me for today's shave. I know it wasn't a review video. I know I owe you guys a lot of reviews. There's so much stuff I want to get to. There are just so many products out there. And as wet shaving becomes more and more popular, there's even more products out there between aftershave, soaps, there's more razors, brushes, shaving bowls, scuttles, that whole thing. So it's just really exploding right now. It's really hard to keep on top of, but I will definitely be getting back to uh, more reviews really soon, so please stay tuned. And as always, thanks for watching.